Hello everybody and welcome. Today, me and Anne are going to rank the Isekai series that we have seen. World's Finest Assassin gets reincarnated in another world as an aristocrat. The Devil is a Part-Timer, The Rising of Shield Hero, Mushoko Tensei, Jabba's Reincarnation, Slime, I Got Reincarnated as a Spider, ReZero, Konosuba, and Overlord. You may ask yourself, well, why isn't so-and-so included? Well, it's because we haven't seen it. These are the nine that we have seen. So we're going to rank them. I don't know what Anne's picking. She doesn't know what I'm picking. We're going to unveil it to each other. It's going to be very exciting. Okay, here we go. Whoa, the devil is a part-timer. It's last. Wow. We haven't seen it in a little bit, but it's just forgettable. And it didn't excite me. Like, I usually look forward to watching our evening anime. It didn't excite me that much. Very interesting. I'll wait to comment on my thoughts on that until it comes up on mine. Okay. Let us unveil what I picked as number nine. Wow. Okay. Assassin. So, basically, my thought with Assassin is pretty much the same as what Anne just said. I just felt like it was kind of, nah, what do you remember from it? They get naked and look at each other's bodies. That was pretty great, right? We liked that part. It was just okay. It didn't really bring anything new to the table. Let's see what you have at number eight. Overlord. Oh, I actually figured I knew Overlord was going to be low for you. Yeah, so we're watching Overlord most recently and... Well, we just caught up. Yeah, we just caught up. The plot is just strange and all over the place. Like, I don't always understand what the purpose is, like, what's really going on. I want Overlord to stay a good character, but he flip-flops between being a good person and, like, a really shitty person, so I don't know. We're looking at number eight for me, Shield Hero. I'm not totally surprised that it's that low for you. A little bit surprised it's that low, but not that it's low. I don't know what to say. It's just so okay. Obviously, we have some top tier waifu material with Reptalia, but other than that, the revenge story is good. And then season two was just kind of like, I don't really remember much. Mm. Now I just feel like now that the revenge thing is over, it's just meandering. Shall we see what you have mm -hmm. for seven? Spider! Ooh, Spider way down low! Yeah, and I know that Greg will be higher because he really liked Spider. It was so drawn out in the beginning. That Spider was in that stupid cave for way too long. Then finally, we started to see the interesting plot developing. So that really annoyed me about it. I did think it was eventually interesting. I was intrigued, but again, just wasn't a standout for me. Okay, and my number seven, Devil is a Part-Timer. There it is, not too far off from yours. Mm -hmm. I laughed out loud several times at it but it did sort of drag on at times. There was plenty of unfunny Japanese humor, which is always gonna happen in these things. I think the fact that Satan loves McGronald so much is funny, but yeah, okay. Let's see what you have for number six. Shield Hero. So this is where like right in the middle, it's like either it was re like really sucky or I really liked it, so the middle was hard, but Shield Hero, I do like it, I do like the characters, however, I still agree, which is why they're not that far off, that it's starting to get a little sluggish. I think it was more exciting in the beginning. And also, we don't really know what the point is anymore. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying to fight to keep their world alive, because these which... two worlds are competing to stay alive now. All right, let's move on to, let's see, we're looking at my number six, Overlord. Overlord almost would have been at the very, very bottom. We almost dropped the show several times because it is boring as sh** <laughs> at times. Especially the first few episodes of season oh one. Oh my it's like, god. Oh, jeez. It was so bad. I even looked up online, when does it get good? Because there's four seasons, I figured at some point it had to get good and it is very popular. But what I did like about it that turned it around, that bumped it up to number six for me, was I really like the darker elements. I like that Ainz is becoming a villain and I hope that continues. Mm -hmm. That is the interesting twist. Like that is something different. It's the bad guy's perspective. He's 
progressively becoming the villain. And I find that fascinating. And that one episode where they killed the people who came to Nazarek, it was so dark. Yeah. And I loved it. I loved it. Wow, Assassin hasn't come up for Anne yet. I can't believe it. There it is. Okay, Assassin. Why is I, it so high for you? I did have to think about it, and then I was like, oh, the minute that I reminded myself of the plot, I was looking forward to watching it like S.H.I.E.L.D. hero. Um, I thought it was a good plot overall. I think I'd watch a second season. I do think it has promise. Five for me, Slime. Slime's still on the board for Anne. This show also I felt like was boring as shit at times. Hmm. And really meandered. That's a great word. It meandered. It wasted time about things I didn't care about. But, my goodness, I want to make a video all about this. Rimuru. Mm -hmm. He unleashed some of the greatest, most unexpected Kino we have ever seen in a gee golly, everybody's friends character. When he had to kill 10,000 people. 1,788 have died. 1,903, 3,250, 3,729, 4,214. He didn't care. He slaughtered 10,000 people. They were ripping people's heads off. If you're talking about your friend, he's hit. <laughs> oh my God, this doesn't, this doesn't belong in this series. Unfortunately, after that, it sort of reverted back to, okay, we're all friends again. And so that's why it's, I would say, higher up for me. So you can comment on that once it comes up for you. I'm guessing it's gonna come up now. ReZero, oh, okay. Go ahead, Anne. Okay, so ReZero, season one, fantastic. And it was one of the first anime and isekai, I think it was the first isekai I ever watched. So I had to put it up a little higher as, you know, to honor it in a way, because I was new to anime at the time. And these characters I find special. The reason it's four and not higher up than four because season two is terrible. Absolutely terrible, we already talked about Careful, that. Careful, you're gonna upset some weaves out there. I don't care. Yeah, shut the f up. It went on and on and on and on and on, blah, blah, blah. It ruined it for me in some ways. Meh, meh. That's, that's from season two for me. So. However, I will say that while season two was garbage, it did introduce some interesting elements like uh, that one villain whose name I don't remember, and the door, I remember the door but uh, it's, it hasn't come up yet for me. So, okay, we are at number four for me. Spider. Spider is higher for me. Now, I know that the late episodes in Spider had some of the worst animation ever seen. It looked like it was made in Windows 95. It was terrible, but I just had so much freaking fun with this anime and can tell you every week I was like, all right, let's get back with Spider Girl. Yeah. And Spider Girl is there. Yep. And the twist of episode 10 got me. I was so shocked. I did not see it coming. It's one of the best twists that I didn't see coming ever. I know that it's sort of, the wheels fell off towards the end. I don't know if season two is gonna come, but it was a blast for me. Let's go into the top three here for Anne number three. Slime. So I really enjoyed Slime, even though it was repetitive and we knew he was so all powerful, like literally no one could beat him. It did get more interesting with the part that Greg talked about. I understood why he killed that many people, whereas it reminds me a bit of Overlord. Overlord, when he killed like 70,000 soldiers, just seemed pointless, just him like flexing his muscles. And then he goes back to being like, now I want to build this world for, for everybody. And for peace, all, for love. And yeah, for peace and love and be all kind. And I'm like, wait, what? Well, like, remember he is an idiot. And at the same time, like, yeah, he doesn't really have a goal. He doesn't know what the main goal is. Like he's just going along with it all. It's just, it's just all weird. But it reminded me of Slime in some ways yet. Who do you think would win, Rimuru or Heinz? Ooh, great question. Ooh. That would be uh, a tough battle. It would. I mean, what Rimuru has that Overlord hasn't touched is like this ability to, he transforms into slime, he can consume a larger creature like he did that one time. Number three for me, ReZero. We weren't far off. 
ReZero is great, but as Anne said, season two is trash. Probably would have been number one if season two wasn't so bad. And I have read the web novel for the next two arcs, so I know where it goes. But the characters are great, it's a great time for the most part, and will season three happen? I'd be surprised if it didn't. All right, so I think we have the top two left. Konosuba and Mushoku Tensei. We both have the top two. Wow. Will we match? Let's just reveal our top two at the same time here. Okay, Anne has Mushoku. I have Konosuba. Wow. So we don't match, so we might as well reveal. I'm surprised. I mean, you know what? To be fair, they're so different, and Konosuba is a comedy, and Mushoku Tensei is a drama. So really, like, you could say that like Konosuba is the best comedy, Mushoku Tensei is the best drama version. That's what I would say. Well, what's interesting is Konosuba is almost like a satire of isekai. Konosuba is hilarious. I laugh a lot at it. However, as we talked about in the video we did on it, Aqua is annoying. Yeah, she is. Very annoying. Yeah. Mushoku Tensei just seems to me to have an elevated level of production value and an elevated storytelling. The budget must be high for that series. It's almost like, you know, you think of Demon Slayer and Demon Slayer is like a premium visual show. And I think to me, Mushoku Tensei is as well. And everything in the story is interesting. There's so many threads going out that's like, oh, what's up with this guy in the white? And there's the villain that came in and tried to kill them. Like there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. That's why it's number one for me. Okay. So why did you pick Konosuba over Mushoku Tensei? Konosuba above and beyond, yes, making us laugh. It's very special to Greg and I. Very comfy, just fun loving. I even like bought Greg the, the four little characters if you see in the frame yeah. back there. The one thing that I do like about Konosuba as well is so many characters in anime, period, men, are pathetic like babies. Yeah. Like, oh my God, the girl touched me, the girl looked at me. Yeah. And then, meanwhile, you have Kazuma, Kazu Trash, who's a Chad sitting in the baths staring down the woman as she gets out naked. Wrong. And, and she's like, can you stop looking at me? And he goes, what? Sir, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's making me- What? I'm just sitting here. Right, I, I know, but I'd like to get out now. Don't mind me. <sighs> <laughs> that is one bashful lady. How many main character Chads would be like that. I don't like that part about Kazuma's personality, but I do like that the girls just sort of like shrug it off. They're all very powerful characters and all of them have something wrong with them. So no one is without fault, no one's perfect. I have to go to the bathroom, like really bad. All right, go ahead, we're, we're done anyway. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll say goodbye. That's it, what do you think of our list? What isekai that isn't on here that we should watch? Oh, Sword Art Online. Yeah, I know, but there's a lot of episodes of that. Listen, I don't have that much time. Oh, but you watched all these other shows. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's like, look at how much we can get done. When we, if, imagine, you know, it just... Uh... But any other isekai that we should watch? Do you agree with our list? Where are we wrong? I'd love to hear your input. Anyway, thanks for hanging out and watching our ranking with us and we'll see you again soon have a have a lovely day like and subscribe and bye mm. 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 Oh, ho, 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 ho.